All right, everybody on YouTube, this is Apostle Chris Turney. Uh, I just wanted to take a minute to basically do a, a brief tutorial on how to use a very, very resourceful Bible study program that I use. I've been using it for a long, long time, probably about 10 years, uh, 12 years. It's a great resource to have. Uh, I'm going to show you how to download it today from the Internet. Um, and today we're going to show you how to do it on a computer. You can use this on a mobile device. Uh, you can use it on your iPhone or your iPad as well. Um, do not believe it's, uh, it's, it's compatible with an Android at this time. So if you don't have an Android device, uh, unfortunately, you won't be able to use it right now. But it's a great resource. And so we'll get started right now. So basically what you're going to want to do, just open up your browser. And you're going to go up here, obviously, and type in e-sword.net. should pull it right up. Okay, if you do not put the dash in, you're not probably going to find it. So you want to make sure you do put that dash in e-sword.net. Okay, now obviously when the page opens up, it's pretty much straightforward. All you have to do is go right here and click download. It should go ahead and detect the device you're on, whether it's an Apple device or a regular PC. Now, notice here, it's also available on the Apple Mac, the iPad, and the iPhone. Okay, if you want to get this on your iPad or your iPhone, obviously just go to the App Store. All right. Now I've already got it downloaded on my computer here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close out of here. Once you download it, you'll get a little icon. It's going to come up on your desktop right here and just go ahead and open it up. And of course, when you open it up, this little box here is going to open up. And all it is is a little tip box. It's the tip of the day. You can go to the next tip. Basically, just a little insider information on how to use things, how to go through it. I'm going to try to help you as much as I can with that today. So let's take a look. Uh, you'll notice here, you've got over here, you've got Bible books. Now, this is pretty straightforward. All your books of the Bible are over here. If you wanted to go to one of them, you just hit Genesis. And then you're going to go to your chapter, okay, chapter 4. Now, you don't have to put the verse in. In order to get to the verse, you just have to scroll down. That's the way it is on the computer, okay? If you change the number here, it's actually going to change the chapter number, okay? Now, on the mobile devices, it's a little different. On the mobile devices, uh, which I'll do another tutorial later on that, it does allow you to choose the exact verse you want. But with the computer version, you have to click on the chapter, and then, of course, you just scroll down. Now, you'll notice here that you have your Bibles here in the middle section. This is King James Version. You see that right there. And then over here you have the King James Version with a little plus sign. Now this is with the Strong's numbers. This gives you the Strong's numbers. The Strong's numbers are going to basically um, reference the Hebrew in Old Testament and the Greek in the New Testament. So it's really nice because when you have this available to you just like by scrolling over this, it brings right up to you. It brings the uh, the Hebrew word up. Okay, in this case, you'll notice here, and she conceived. Those three words in Hebrew are essentially one word, and it's hara, and basically it says to be. All right, um, to become pregnant, so to conceive. So that's pretty straightforward. That's pretty simple. Um, there's not a lot of revelation in that particular word. Uh, as you scroll down. You know, if you want to know what art thou wroth, you can look at that and you can see what that is. Okay, this is the word kara. Notice there that it gives you the pronunciation. You'll notice there it says K-H-A-W-R-A-W. That is the pronunciation. And, of course, you've got the Hebrew spelling at the top left. Then you've got the, the basically the, the English version of the Hebrew. All right, the pronunciation there below that, of course, with the meaning. Down it tells you total King James occurrences. This word basically appears 91 times. Uh, so it's just a great resource to have. Uh, these are the two versions, basically, the King James and the King James v the version with the Strong's, obviously, is a, uh, is, is a great resource. But these two are by default. They're the ones that you get. Now, notice it says here compare. If you hit compare, it'll bring that one particular verse up. And it will show you the two verses side by side, okay, which this has more significance when we bring in, in a few moments, I'll show you how to download more. When you bring in other versions, uh, that's kind of nice. And then, of course, parallel, it will put them like this, okay, 
But because we only have the King James Version, uh, there is nothing to put next to it, which we'll come back in just a moment and do that. Over here, you've got your commentaries. All right. It's a great resource to have. You get default. You get the cross-references. Um, the cross-reference is nice. Uh, basically, when you look at Genesis chapter 4, verse 1, you come over here, you'll see Genesis 4, 1. And the word new, they give you a cross-reference for that. Um, Numbers 31, 17. So when it says an Adam new, it breaks the verse down. Okay. And it, this, this particular uh, commentary does, this cross-reference. And it shows you basically that in Numbers 31, 17, this word is used there. And, of course, we have Cain. That is gotten or acquired. And then I have. Now, if you change the verse, you'll notice over on the right that it changes what displayed here. So every time this word Abel is mentioned, there's a reference to it. Okay, over here in these different verses. All you have to do is scroll your cursor over it. It brings the verses up. So let's change and let's go, say, to... Let's go to Matthew. We'll go to chapter 12. And we'll look down on verse number 17. How's that? All right. You hit 17. You just click on it. It highlights it here. Over on the right, you'll see the cross references. Now, in a few moments, I'm going to show you how to download some more things. But let's just take a look at this particular commentary. Okay. Matthew chapter 12, verse 17. Over here, this particular commentary is going to, there's going to be a commentary on verses 15 to 23 the testimony of deeds of mercy. And when you read this, it begins to kind of give you an expounding commentary on these verses, in this case, 15 through 23. If you were to change that to the book of Acts, say chapter 11 and verse 6, you'll notice that it gives you a commentary on these verses that are relative to the one you highlighted. Okay? Now, uh, over here, you've got your dictionaries down here. Now, right now, the only two dictionaries that are here are the Smith Bible Dictionary, okay? And you've got the Strong's Dictionary. So when you pull up the Strong's, we'll go back to the KJV with the plus sign, okay? We'll go to um, Creeping Things. Let's take a look at Acts chapter 11, verse 6, the word Creeping Things. Okay, if you double-click on that, You'll notice that right down here under your Strong's Dictionary, it will bring this up here. So you can use this here and you can have a, a more uh, like a permanent thing here that you can see. Now, I can go over with you. This is actually the word. This is the Hebrew meaning or the Hebrew actually uh, spelling in the actual Hebrew letters. OK, this is basically the way the word is pronounced. And this gives you your English pronunciation down here. And so it begins to give you definition. It means to creep like a reptile. Um, and so you have an idea. Now, these words here, the, at the very end of all of these, you'll see these words. These are the English words or phrases that are in Scripture, in the New Testament, because this is Greek. Okay. This is the, these are the words and phrases that are used throughout Scripture that have this word associated with it. So, in other words, you may read something in, in the New Testament that says creeping thing. It's, gonna, it's this word. Or serpent, it's this word. Okay? So, when you say creeping things, that's basically what it is. Okay. Now, if you, uh, you want to click over here, you'll notice that these are different Strong's numbers. Okay? You can click on those, but it really doesn't do you any good if you don't know the actual, um, if you don't know what the word is. Now, under the Smith Dictionary, all right, you can go over here and you can, let's see, we want to type in a word. Let's type in a word here for Gentile. Okay, and you'll notice that when you put the word in, it populates automatically. And it begins to, to, to give you the Bible definition. This is the Bible dictionary of the word Gentile. Okay. Now, right over here. This is a little, this is a whole bunch of stuff over here where you can actually take and you can, you can, um, you know, you can basically copy. You can paste notes over here. Okay. So if you want to build some sort of a Bible study, you can take your verses Okay, and you can you can you can right click and copy, and then you can put them over here. 
So you can just start building yourself like a Bible, uh, a Bible study, um, you know, and the, of course, when this is clicked on study notes, that's available to you. You can change your fonts right here. OK, you can you can put whatever font you want. You just have to highlight everything and then you got to change your font. OK. And then over here, you can make it bold. You can italicize. And if you ever use any kind of Microsoft Word program, that's pretty simple. OK. Now, that's just in this part here. Uh, you've also got your topic notes, which you can in your journal notes, uh, you can and, and you'll notice down here. It's got dates. If you want to do your Bible journaling or your prayer journaling, you can do that here. You can sit here and you can just simply type notes in whatever it may be uh, that you feel like in your prayer time. The Lord is speaking to you. You can make journal notes here, which is kind of a nice thing. And keep in mind, one of the nice things about it is you've got these little you can save them. OK, and you can also and on my screen it's really really small right now but you've got a you've got a built-in thesaurus right here you've got a spell checker okay uh, you can actually search your own notes once you get them uh, put in here you can actually search your own notes and there is a print preview so you can actually print your notes so if you do your notes in here you can actually print them off okay you can of course you can save them and it's kind of a nice little feature you everything is right here you can add photos you can insert a picture if you want to right there. OK, so that's basically how these four boxes work along with your Bible uh, Bible books over here. Now, let's uh, let's go ahead and show you how to download a few more things and then I'll be done with this tutorial. You just click download here and you can click on Bibles. And when you get over here, you'll notice that the same things that were over here, they pop up the same tabs, commentaries, dictionaries, devotionals, graphics, reference books. Um, it's all pretty cool. Uh, when you hit the one you want to download, you'll notice that right down here it populates. Okay, it comes up right down here. So you can actually download a couple at one time if you want. Okay, and then all you're going to do is once this comes up here, you're just going to basically click on it here, and you can. As you click on it, you're just going to go to here where it says download. And it says start. So you're just going to start downloading. And then, of course, it'll show you what's been downloaded. OK. And you'll notice up here, Bible and Bakelet, Basic English installed, American Standard Version installed. The same thing with your commentaries. It's basically the same way. Uh, if you want to do the Adam Clark's commentary in the Bible, you click on it. It comes up down here. Basically, you just do the same thing. And your dictionaries are available here. Now, the Browns. Brown driver and Briggs. This is your Hebrew definition. So you've got the Strong's that gives you both Greek and Hebrew. This one actually will give you just Hebrew words. Okay. And so that's nice to have. And then, of course, down here, uh, if I can find it, you've got your Thayer, and that's just Greek. So let's just download those real quick. Hit start see that down here is downloading okay and then of course once they disappear you know that you're, they're downloaded now what you need to know about this real quick is that in order to see the new editions as soon as you close this out you're going to have to restart eSword to see them so you just click OK you're going to come you're going to basically I'll make this smaller and then we'll X out and then when we open it back up OK, we'll click OK here. You'll notice that now the American Standard Version, the, the Bible in basic English, it's there. OK, you still got the original two. Now, when you hit compare. OK, it'll bring up the American Standard Version, the Bible in basic English and the King James Version. And then if you do parallel, OK, you'll notice that right here it says KJV. You can do that. And then here you'll put the ASV. And you'll notice that you've got King James Version and ASV here. And you can do another one. Let's do Bible and Basic English. So now you've got three. So you've got your King James Version, American Standard Version, and you've got the Bible and Basic English. So this is basically just to kind of get you started on your Bible, um, Bible program. I'll come back later and I will do uh, another one on how to uh, use the commentaries a little bit deeper and some other features that it has. So thanks for taking the time to watch. Please subscribe. Uh, 
please subscribe to the channel. That'd be great. and appreciate that. And uh, if this has been beneficial to you, just let me know by putting in the comments. Thank you so very much. Have a great day.